Welcome to Style is the name of the game! Woo! All right. Hi, guys. I'm style expert Louise Rowe. And I am her sassy sidekick, Jonathan Van Ness. Sassy. On this episode, we're profiling one of Hollywood's top red carpet prospects, fellow Brit, Felicity Jones. You guys know her from Like Crazy, The Invisible Woman, and of course, the Oscar-nominated Theory of Everything. But despite being only 31, she's no red carpet rookie. Let's take a peek at her style career so far. Kicking off with a major hit, this was the Toronto Film Festival 2014 in a Balenciaga gown. This is a difficult colour to wear, especially being an English rose with fairly pale skin, so she warmed up her makeup to rock this. I'm going to call it orange sherbet. Oh, it makes me hungry. Yeah. A little bit of sequin and sparkle, a very simple black clutch. It was something different. It caught my eye. The hair is absolutely beautiful. I love the sweet updo. I love the braid, but I love this detail on the back. It's a little bit elegant and it's a little bit sexy at the same yeah. time. And it's kind of interesting to walk those lines together. Next up, the Palm Springs International Film Festival. Felicity no. looked fresh as a daisy in a beautiful Monique Lullier gown and this cute little keyhole cutout, which is lined with lace. So you've got a little bit naughty, a little bit ladylike. She is beautiful. Her skin is very porcelain and flawless, and I like the fact that that red lip is actually a little orange. Yes. Um, it's the small details, peeps, but it, it brings it into a modern era. The lip and the mm. hair for me here is absolutely everything. But we've got to move on to we a miss. To. Because there has to be one, and we're going way back to 2011 at the National Board of Reviews Awards Gala. The dress was Dolce & Gabbana. It was cool and sexy. I think it just didn't vibe with Felicity itself. She hadn't chopped her hair off right. yet. She hadn't gone kind of cool and fresh. And so to me, the makeup was a little overdone. It, it was just a bit too vampy and too much. And she just got lost. Like her natural beauty just got really lost in the scheme of things. Something just needed to give. Yeah. So to rock the carpet that well, that often, you can't possibly do it alone. So let's take a look at the trend-setting triple threat that is Team Felicity. When it comes to turning heads on the carpet, Felicity can thank most valuable stylist, Carla Welch. With a hot list of clients, Carla is quickly climbing the style power rankings. Obviously, hair is a huge part of Felicity's game, and she owes major props to Tommy Bucket. This New York City Fashion Week regular has one of the most realistic approaches to hairstyling in the biz, and his chemistry with Miss Jones is unrivaled. Also on Felicity's all-star team is makeup artist Sabrina Bedrani. She is one of Hollywood's most reliable talents on game day. Felicity's natural assets provide a lot for her team to work with. So let's take a look at her game plan for victory on Oscar Sunday. I'm sure she's sitting there with her notebook poised. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'd love some print. I want some leg. You want some leg? Just a little. Okay. A I'd, lot. Like, I'd like a lot of leg, actually. A lot. And then maybe something modern with the hair, like slick it back. Or like up slick. Just something a little edgy. Slick it back. All right, that's a wrap on this edition of Style is the Name of the Game. What's the name of the game? Style. Style, girl. Style, girl. Thanks for popping in, guys. See you next time. Woo!